Hey, all you P6 people out there, it's Michael, and I've got another P6 setting video for you. We're talking about financial period settings. Now, I'm not gonna cover how financial periods work in P6, but I will give you the one-liner. Financial periods are a way to kind of store period values so that you can see what happened on a month-to-month -month basis. More or less, that's what financial periods are all about. But I do want to explain some of the settings that are in user preferences related to financial periods. So let's do it. Let's go to edit and head down to user preferences. And let's go to this applications tab. In the bottom half of this applications tab pop-up window, we have columns. And you can see it says select financial periods to view in columns. So number one, this will work as long as you actually have financial periods set up, built. And then it also is important, well, if you want the full gamut, that you have stored some data in those financial buckets. But basically, if you want to view the data in those financial period buckets or on a month-by-month -month basis, it's typically, get, typically done by month, then you have to come here and select the columns. So let's, let me show you what that looks like. So here are all the different buckets that I have. So let's say this project starts in 2010. So I want to show from 2010 and it doesn't go to 2015, it probably goes to like 2012. Uh, let's go to 2012. Again, I'm just picking a swath to give you a feel for what this does. So once I have those set and I click close, you can see P6 is doing some thinking in the background here. It normally hasn't done that for me, but it thought it might do some thinking today. Nothing really changes on screen, but what changes is the available data for you. Now, let me show you where it's available. So if I go into my column chooser, under financial period value, you will now see different columns and they're related to those months that I picked in edit user preferences. Okay, so I have uh, actual expense or actual labor cost and, and let's go down here and pick say, uh, earned value cost for 2010 August. So I'm gonna add that column in here and I know it's a bit messy, I'll just throw it here just to give you a bit of a flavor. So we can put that one up there and then we could also say add uh, labor units for the same monthly period, okay? So once I add those in, now I can put them on screen and it looks like the totals have, have nothing. So there is no actual stored data in those buckets. But just to show you that you need to select the columns and user preferences so that you can have these financial periods available to you on screen. And you know what, they're also available on the resources tab. So if you come down here to the resources tab, right click to edit the columns, you'll also see financial period values and you'll be able to pick a whole bunch of columns here and add them in as well. That's basically it. Those are the settings related to financial periods from the edit user preferences menu that you should be aware of. That's what all that stuff is. So up to now, I think we've covered all of the settings and edit user preferences in P6. Make sure you check out some of our other videos on Primavera P6 settings, or if you really like the video, subscribe to the channel. We post regular videos all the time. I'm Michael, happy planning.